Let's make sure we're live. Sweet. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to our channel and welcome to another live stream. We should be live streaming anyway. Let's check it out. Slow mo today. The internet is busy, possibly. Right. Today is April 20th, 2020. Special year, special time. And we're 4 p.m. PDT, Pacific Time, West Coast. Hello, Spider Man. How are you doing? Hope life is treating you well. Dragons, how's life? <laughs> Coolio is here. Quarantine edition. 420 quarantine edition. Matt, how are you doing? Salute everyone. Airman, hello, hello. Happy 420, gang. Hope you're all doing well. It's exciting times, exciting times. What's your drink? I'm drinking um, pineapple liqueur today with rocks on the rocks how's it going chicho doing a while spencer doing fun and i brought the i usually don't bring the liqueur jar over but i brought the liqueur jar over just in case i need a refill right i might have to top this one up too right mick silva how are you doing <clears> hope <throat> all is well doing good doing good enjoying the ride watching watching the markets would be willing to pay you 37 dollars us to take a barrel of oil off their hands <laughs> hilarious my brother-in-law is joining us he works in a can awesome spider-man awesome in uh, in your state they don't uh, it's not legalized is it Colorado is legalized, Washington DC. I should just like, I don't know how many states now, 20 states. Happy 420, Anna celebrating a girlfriend's with pizza and a cannabis. Nice, nice. I got uh, here, let me show you my snacks. Actually, yeah, I'll show you my snacks and then I'll do my little general intro. I got cucumbers, I got radishes, mandarin, and little crackers, CD crackers. I'm loving the cucumbers. It's like hot, and these guys are fantastic. I hope you guys have amazing snacks. He lives in Oregon. Okay, Oregon legalized us, right? I messaged a few friends earlier asking if they had any uh, spare super tankers. <laughs> Didn't get a reply. <laughs> Not sure why. <laughs> and by the way, those of you who. Uh, haven't been watching the markets you're not interested in the data oil starting this morning was sitting uh wti what um uh, texas crude oil that's it's a, it's a, it's sweet oil they call it right and that's what the benchmark that people go by so wti <laughs> crude starting this morning was let's say 18 18 dollars 18.50 us right it opened 40 percent down right it was sitting at uh or was that yesterday i lost track it was such a ride it's amazing right and it um i think that was yesterday and it started 40 percent down or that was today actually 40 percent down right so it was trading at ten dollars eleven dollars for a few hours couple of hours and then <laughs> it went into negative negative six dollars negative six dollars that means people will pay you to take a barrel of oil and then it kept on going hit negative 37 dollars fluctuation you'll uh, you will never see this again in your life okay went from 1850 to negative 37 <laughs> so 52 dollar price difference from positive to negative unbelievable what a ride what a ride on 4 20 2020 right crazy washington oregon and california are all good for cannabis nice 
Bucking Bay. How are you doing? Happy 420 here. I'm here in Oregon. I'm the brother-in-law. Ah, you're the brother-in-law. Nice, nice. So you're watching from Oregon. Salute from the West Coast. Saucy Rossi. Hi, Chicho. Here uh, to relax with you. Very bad headache today. So I took a handful of CBD gummies. Helping a lot. Awesome, Saucy Rossi. I hope your headache gets better by that as we progress into the stream how do you like the consumer uh how do you like to consume cannabis chat pause due to scroll oh wow there's a lot of chat x how are you doing <laughs> lost a lot of chat gang uh mandarins yeah washington state oregon dc michigan california nevada colorado alaska vermont massachusetts and maine are the states where it is fully legalized but it is medicinally legalized in a few more states as well also lonely piggy happy 420 brother never never a better time to have some of the devil's lettuce <laughs> i love everyone here nice nice lowest i saw was 50 negative 58 it went to negative 58 i saw negative uh, 37 for oil and i was doing screen captures and posting them on discord on our discord economics folder <laughs> giving updates as i could <laughs> it was too exciting not to unfortunately I ran out of my stash oh no huckleberry a few weeks ago into lockdown but hopefully this will clear up so i can uh go get more in a month or two okay awesome uh for me for for the answer uh vape right i never thought i would and i did when i went this i never went back and this is amazing and it's a canadian company uh it's uh it doesn't even have a name on it um it's uh so oh man solo uh, do, oh i forget what it's called it's fantastic highly recommend highly recommend oil dragons huh? i've never used uh cannabis probably gonna be on the sideline no dragons you're here this discussion it's not a big deal really if you think about it right it's like having a sip of pineapple liqueur homemade pineapple liqueur Ascar, good evening. Wow, lots of chat. Nicholas, how are you doing? What's up? And chat. Hello, hello, sleepy waves. How are you guys doing? Wow, wow. I'm scrolling down to the bottom of the chat, gang. Um, just for those who are here, uh, new, who uh, might be watching this on another platform, we do have a Patreon page. I'm going to put this up. We'll go do it through Speedy Gonzalez. We've done these before. I do have a Patreon page. It's a one of the best ways to follow my work so i'll see you i'll see you. do you have a uh, leaf vape it, i i'm just bud i don't do extracts i don't do oils i don't do any uh just bud um i like to keep it as pure as possible uh saucy rossi and simple as possible right the most complicated i've gone is a vape and i've that's it right we're on patreon it's a fantastic way to support this work if you want to support this work you can just follow the work as well nothing's behind the paywall i share as much as i can as often as i can and we're doing a full-blown project you can get the gist of it there and it's all related to mathematics have you ever made edibles yes for sure sleepy waves i'm not too much into edibles it's strong <laughs> we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to watch these things live twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you that are following subscribing on twitch thank you very much for the follows and the subscribes for the support as well as the people who are following this work and subscribing on patreon we do announce these things 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs mine vk and elo so if you want to get the announcements you can follow through twitter gabs mine vk and elo we are live streaming this on youtube and bitshoot you can follow the work there and a third platform video sharing platform will be uploaded at some point okay and we do have youtube membership available so if you decide to support this work through youtube membership fantastic it's another great way to support this work and we are in times of pandemics and we do want to flatten the curve 
which basically means relieve the stress from your healthcare systems, right? So you don't overwhelm the the healthcare workers and just the whole system wherever you are, because some places are seeing a serious wave come in, some people, places are low wave coming in and stuff like this. So you want to take care and make sure your community has access to adequate health care when they need it right don't overwhelm them there's a storm uh, outside chill until the storm passes okay aside from that thanks for popping in gang been looking forward to this stream <laughs> it's been an interesting day i'm at a point where i'm almost entirely drug free used to smoke uh, an ounce every few days wow that's a lot hobbleton uh, i started having uh, psychotic episodes for sure maybe because I quit smoking tobacco tobacco is hardcore maybe I developed an allergy possibly I really don't know I'm learning to be as relaxed as I was when I was uh, consuming without being <laughs> I'm changing some of the words consuming without being high uh, which is cool I can't say I don't miss the good times though so happy 420 to all those that can partake in joy um, and one thing I'm just gonna clarify here right 420 is not about consuming it's not about it's not about advocating supporting this not supporting this and taking a political stance or whatnot to a certain degree to a certain degree the only thing you have to be aware of is do you believe that a centralized institution has the right to tell human beings how they should live their lives if you believe that then there's nothing preventing them from prohibiting anything in your life and there has been throughout history human history cases that we know of and pl places that we know of right now uh, that some of us live in right now that they prohibit a way of thought a way of being a way of interacting right and consuming right so if you believe in the human right to live this life to the best of your abilities without hurting anyone where there is no crime you have no choice than to support the end of prohibition that is anything else is hypocrisy okay coolio what about michigan where idiots are protesting at the first sign on the curb starting upon coolio blows my mind blows my mind by the way uh we're seven minutes counting okay at 4 20 i'm gonna pop up a little image i'll be here reading in the chat we're gonna take about a 10 minute break 4 20 break right so there's gonna be a beautiful painting that's going to come your way right at 4 19 okay uh because i would like to um celebrate with you guys right and that painting is a painting that we have in the family and the artist's name i don't know and the painting was done about 25 years ago 20 plus years ago let's say 20 years ago and the artist is in Ontario okay and it's basically belongs to the family now right and it's a beautiful painting and it's got a lot of imagery uh, a lot of meaning in it if you look at it deeply enough and during last year's 420 I popped up popped uh, this picture up as well and people saw things that I hadn't seen before so I hope you appreciate it I hope you appreciate it and I'll be here reading the chat by the way okay a riser solo thank you very much ding bobber a riser solo I'm, I'm not being paid uh, I have no connection to this company one of the greatest purchases I've ever done in my life hands down and it's got a little top you can close it up right really I, I have no connection with this company right I never thought I would do once you go black you never go back right? <laughs> really a riser solo um, Chicho, do you, if you didn't catch it 
uh, but does post harvest cultivation so trimming trimming it down uh, stuffing cones weighing out bags oh what in uh, in the cannabis industry in Oregon that's cool man X lots of love lots of love Martin how are you doing I'm here but I <laughs> my eye the green doesn't affect me um, so I will be enjoying a cider Martin salute cider color pineapple liqueur okay I know um, because I'm gonna be uploading this to other platforms and it's un not necessary and some places in the world it's uh, not legal so I don't want to put anyone in jeopardy there's a lot of lot of reasons really there's a lot of reasons one time you told a story about how weed entheogens help see through a cornfield can you share it again for sure for sure sleepy waves if you want I think we'll put it in a video but I can't I'm pretty sure I put it in a video uh, maybe Twitch supports legalization of recreational cannabis do they good we're on the right platform then <laughs> right hey chicho in your opinion why some governments still prohibit cannabis and other soft drugs is the prohibition profitable somehow it's profitable profitable for certain industries right that ha have control over your governments it's called regul regulatory capture right like the oil industry has done it the pharmaceutical industry has done it the prison industrial complex has done it the policing force has done it the pharmaceuticals and pharmaceutical companies do not want cannabis legalized right because cannabis is a plant is a weed that anybody can grow it can replace most likely half of the pharmaceuticals that most people take in their lives maybe for uh digestion sleeping insomnia anxiety uh tremors oh my god the benefits of cannabis for people um that are unfortunately are dealing with parkinson's alzheimer's and cancer uh, radiation therapy and stuff like this pharmaceutical company has been selling everybody poison for a number of decades while cannabis could for some for many for most have better provide better relief to the patients with zero side effects why money wall street right wall street that's why i've had a riser solo it's amazing sleepy waves nice so gang is 418 click it up and i go to three i do three that's it right gang i'll be here reading the chat okay you ready for an amazing painting you ready for an amazing painting <laughs> oh i gotta bring the chat up there we go there we go there we go and i'm gonna scroll down gang how do you guys like the painting that's beautiful <laughs> nice <laughs> oh it's the one from the uh early comic bits is it did we use it for her oh yeah that's right our my first comic book video you saw this hanging on the wall the comic hall and the comp yeah for the first comic hall video where we looked at the uh, daredevils and whatnot nice thank painting who the hell drew me <laughs> awesome scratching and spinning the galaxies that's right fantastic nice i wouldn't say i use weed medically but sometimes when i'm about to uh enter a depressive episode smoking a j can be rather helpful huckleberry spider-man such a badass <laughs> Joke. happy 420 everybody Let's see what do i have here it's called the beach tea pretty hard stuff 
<laughs> always be making how are you doing slow mo for sure spider-man for sure meditating on high doses of cannabis can be practically psychedelic where did you get that painting uh it's an artist from uh Tor and from toronto i believe ontario anyway um family member um what did he what do you call it uh, when they give the artist money commissioned it a family member commissioned the artist to make a painting and this is what they created it's beautiful I need some art like that for my college dorm committed to a university today nice nice looks like he's so high he's on the universe DJ Dex mixing all the beautiful music for all the galaxies awesome Mick no i don't think his eyes are red they might have a red uh, shade to them i can't see close enough <laughs> the light in the bottom right is nice carabaccio lights i'm gonna start thinking the painting is talking to chicho's voice celestial very nice anyone ever had time displaced after smoking a ton I once was in my kitchen making a sandwich on the couch eating it and in my bed laughing to what seemed to me all at once <laughs> nice experience saucy Rossi. He's got the same jelly legs I have after passing a police car with an ounce in my bag. I love enjoying a coffee with vaping my green counteracts any sleepy a side effect nice you lose sense of time completely playing um, playing breath of the wild while I, breath of the wild I don't know that one my friend once got so high he was uh, ordering in McDonald's and didn't know which way he was facing and so stood there ordering <laughs> from what could have been the wall knows <laughs> i think your friend needs to slow down <laughs> ding bobber absurdicon uh does twitch not allow him in? i don't know absurdicon who's using yeah we're just enjoying this talking talking paint <laughs> got super alive with a friend and went to a burger joint the waitress came over to take our order but i was asleep oh no consuming some great miracle alien cookie sugar sauce feeling good they might but chicho wants to err on the safer side as he is an education platform first and foremost and some people have preconceived notions of cannabis thank you very much coolio you put it better than i could gina how are you doing cbd heavy i'm not sure names and i mix i make blends 
little here, little here, put it in a coffee grinder and put it in a container and uh, treat it like a pipe. Like refilling a pipe. Has been listening for to three moth. Oh, triple six mafia. He loves them. Yeah. Oh, Brockby. Uh, yeah, does Brock uh, Brockby listen to Triple Six Mafia? Dude, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Triple Six Mafia is basically what I'm looping now. Almost exclusively. My friend got so high and we lost him uh, when we went to the store for a month. Jeez, it climbed into a fridge in the frozen section. What? Was so hard to get him to leave he was so comfortable and happy oh my god what one of the best streamers bling bling engineer how are you doing to be honest none of what people are describing sounds fun or interesting in any way so always be making i've i don't know how many years for me 30 plus years uh <laughs> I've never had that experience or anyone close to me so I don't know what they're smoking but uh, sounds interesting I think they should slow down a little though uh, do you know what <laughs> glue rocks or moon rocks are no that's what I'm having it's high THC content indica compacted into small ball and dusted with the keef that is a hell held on by thc oil what a layer on the outside it is a melt into the gas sort of thing coolio where where are you getting this from and where are you at which state i'm assuming you're call no where are you at are you colorado uh because they legalize first so they might have a lot more options than we do in canada yeah man triple six mafia is amazing music amazing chicho i know of a place to get organic live soil non-mgo cannabis clones and uh rick simpson oil seasonally located in bc so right around the corner farmhand what what dot ca check it out dude can you post this ding can you post this in our discord please uh so i don't uh forget to check this out that would be fantastic if you could greatly appreciate it yeah but we do need to consume with balance not over to 100 percent it's not for everybody but cannabis is very helpful for my mental health and it does have very good stress relieving properties i get high on learning me too me too and teaching and applying and connecting just life really first ever we are one of the same that's martin with always be making i'm in michigan michigan is legal here uh, medically and recre recreationally there's a lot of dispensaries still open because they are um, considered essential business due to the medical benefit i use a trusted service that delivers straight to my door awesome coolio that's fantastic awesome ding ding bobber appreciate it very much and spider-man thank you for taking care of business I'm still in the awe that I lived through free oil. Not free oil. Free oil would have been zero dollars. This was traders would give you thirty-seven fifty, thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents a barrel to take to take a barrel of oil off of them. <laughs> Where's the lineup? Where's my truck? Wow, I didn't know Michigan had legalized. I just took a puff, Chicho. Cheers, cheers, Anna. Their stock is limited by the uh, pandemic, but they still have some go-tos. Nice. I do love uh, how Canada Canada has the cannabis lounges. My first experience with uh, got a gang. Uh, take a look at the painting. I'm about to take it down. Okay. Phew. 
<laughs> how are you guys doing <laughs> i do love how canada has the cannabis lounges my first experience with public consumption and not feeling like i was in trouble was in vancouver and it changed all my thinking awesome brooking bay safety when using weed is key don't end up being a story cops used to uh, scare middle schools away schoolers away from Canada's 100 be respectful be responsible right do not become a statistic last thing you want to do as much as i love mathematics you don't want to become a statistic more later this evening cheers puff 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 pass <laughs> do you think that they will legalize in new york city yeah for sure sleepy waves this is just the beginning uh the end of prohibition is he well let, let me rephrase uh cannabis is no longer the devil's weed right right it's not uh reefer madness anymore so the truth is coming out about a uh, about cannabis and those who found that they were supporting prohibitions because of lies based on lies they should be really pissed off right now they should be extremely pissed off right now because for decades for years right the government their doctors the pharmaceutical industry the medical industry all of these industries except for a minority were lying to them so as soon as they get pissed this should be one thing in their mind they should now realize that they should always question centralized power centralized authority right always 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 and they should always remember who was telling them the truth and who lied to them okay as for your question we're seeing the demonization of cannabis disappear right so Robert Anton Wilson referred to it appropriately he said basically prohibition is genocide because it is prohibiting people from experiencing life the way that they wanted to experience life and once they're not able to do that they are eliminating a certain way of being a certain way of thinking certain types of ideas from a society from a community from the world as Robert Anton Wilson would say and has said that's genocide the way I'm seeing it and where we're headed we're just coming into the light we're just about to come out of the dark ages which is what Robert Anton Wilson referred to it as he came out and said people think that we came dark ages ended they didn't we're just coming out of the dark ages just now in the last decade really unbelievable i'm gonna scroll down gang uh did your glasses change while that painting was up <laughs> or am i just a little too a little, ele elevated no coolio i think what's happening is sun's coming down so unfortunately i i hadn't done a stream here like this for a bit so we're gonna see the sunset i hope it's not too bright for you guys if it is i hope you can dim down the your screen uh my apologies but it is beautiful it is beautiful right so much love here so much love here fantastic i'm just sorry i'm not i can't uh, there's a lot of certain amount of uh, chat so i'm going off on tangents but uh, so i'm not able to read all the chat uh 100 agree i spent today sitting out in the sun in the woods even though i couldn't get my hands on any bud life's about options it is always a good day when raw is invoked gina i wouldn't i couldn't agree more right meat eating bad <laughs> i don't know about that for some most likely 2020 has been a historic year so far historic indeed but i'll remember it for the year toilet paper became more valuable than crude oil Lafa, imagine waking up from a coma you'd think it was one giant troll 
<laughs> Mick Silva. And check this out. Check this out, right? So a few trillion dollars was given to Wall Street, right? So a couple of weeks after a few trillion dollars are given to Wall Street, we see oil go down to negative. I saw it as 37. Someone else saw it as negative 58 negative dollars per barrel, right? So you have Wall Street playing games on this scale, right? On this scale where oil is fluctuating anywhere between 50 to 80 dollars going into negative territory. That's how much money capital is at play in Wall Street. Meanwhile, the check is in the mail for people for $1,200 who are fighting over toilet paper. That's the disparity in our current economic system, right? Once you get that perspective on what's really going on, your, your money, you know where it's at, right? Regular Joe Blow fighting over toilet paper, Wall Street filtering trillions of dollars through the market hundreds of billions short boom collapse it buy it up bring it up play it oh look people fighting over toilet paper wow man right yo chicho there's a new beaver dam about one kilometer from my house uh i took my family to see it yesterday uh, I talked to a guy who says he saw three beavers at once. No way. Uh, Ding Bobber, are you in BC or are you on Ontario? Holy cow, that is true. Toilet paper is worth more than oil now. Yeah. That's a good thing people were fighting over toilet paper. They can exchange that for barrels of oil. <laughs> Actually, you don't even need the toilet paper. They're paying you right now to take barrels of oil. If you listed all the events that have occurred this year so far to me in 2019 i would never have believed you yeah and 2019 was eventful right if oil is fluctuating that much let it uh burst then got to love to see the collapse i feel like nicholas uh, uh talib would say uh but it's not this is just a game right that they're able to play because there's lots of money right it's like some divine justice that the oil industry who has been screwing the economy and the people for years are finally getting what they deserve they get to learn how to truly manage their money here's the kicker coolio um, I linked up something else and we put videos out on this regarding disruptive innovation right uh, not disruptive innovation differential accumulation from Jonathan Nitsan and the other professor from Israel where they put out a paper right and they've done research where they say when oil prices collapse right there's a correlation between oil prices collapsing and new wars starting so it's interesting to watch because there's a lot going on and it's linked up everywhere however unfortunately if their thesis is correct we might be kicking into a new phase of global warfare which would really suck okay just need to drive out to oklahoma to pick it up ooklahoma my god chicho intelligent blueberry how are we doing not to, not to be a downer to the chat but did you hear about them yeah i did the mass shooting that took place in nova scotia yeah the deadliest shooting in canada i'm in ontario yeah ontario lots of beaver dams in ontario uh, by the way, I posted that uh, farmhand.ca link in Discord. Their prices are outrageous. Four ounces for four ounces for four twenty. That's not bad. That's phenomenal. Not the strongest uh, cannabis, but very pure and simple. Twenty-five plus years, old seeds with no GMO. Ding, uh, ding, Bobber. Thank you very much. Appreciate it greatly. Okay. Cheers, Chicho. I'm drunk. Spider Man, how you doing? <laughs> Happiness for me is the exercise of vital powers. Oops, along lines of existence. If a life affording them scope, 
translated cider and a glass <laughs> i gotta read that again happiness for me is the exercise of vital powers along lines of excellence in a life affording them scope translated cider and a glass nice nice my coaster fell it got stuck on the bottom wet drinks right. salute martin salute everyone happy 420 okay happy 420 and sleepy waves you wanted me to retell a story eh? if i get once i get caught up with chat and I'm, i am basically um <laughs> so i must two ways to pick up the economy back again a green needle i'm going to allow that because that's legit uh, sign master right hey chicho the last few times i did cannabis i had severe paranoia anything you recommend i should do or take different to avoid this intelligent blueberry one of my generic response to people who say they get paranoid uh is i'm, I'm playing the devil's advocate a little bit okay so uh please you know take it with kindness i've had people come, oh i can't do it because i get paranoid and i turn them and i say maybe you should be paranoid right so following that through maybe look at what it is that's making you paranoid and try to look at it from different angles to try to understand it better right not necessarily when you you've consumed but when you haven't consumed think about what it was about that thing that made you paranoid and maybe try to improve it because sometimes we need to be paranoid right sci master two ways to pick up pick up pick the economy back up according to the new world order uh actually according to the new world order green new deal or kill brown people right yes the cornfield viewpoint the cornfield viewpoint she should be like you should be paranoid you should be paranoid the whole, really when <laughs> when when you start off a year after 12 years of money laundering through wall street when the markets drop 30 percent 33 percent and then the same people that launder trillions of dollars 12 years ago give themselves trillions of dollars more and then kick the market back up 35 percent okay and then drive the price of oil down <laughs> The reason majority of people should be paranoid is because the majority of people are invested in this economic system they think it's legitimate it is not and the frequency of these types of events is going to increase and increase and increase right where we're not going to see one an event like this every we went from well we won't count the, we'll start at 2008 but there was previous ones to that if you take 20 years back you had a sln scandal you had the um a dot com collapse you had the housing bubble you have you have bail like it's insane right but the frequency and the magnitude is increasing so anybody thinks that thinks this system is not gonna send them for a loop you, you gotta be kidding me right don't make me paranoid when I, when I, when I elevates the paranoia by million. <laughs> okay, let's do the cornfield. Let's get off politics. Let's get off policy. Chicho, how do you feel about all these organizations rece receiving all these funds to give back, like George Soros Foundation donating millions to undocumented? Now, I think all of these organizations are scams, right? From, from all of them. Look at OPCW. Uh, the the chemical watchdog look at who look at this look at gates foundation look, look at all of them look at unicef look at clinton Hunt. look at it's all it's all a joke market done 
the strangest and most common paranoia I feel is when my mind starts creating overheard conversations for example I could be sitting at my desk and suddenly I'm thinking uh, that my roommate is back talking me oh so you get paranoid that your people uh, don't like you or they're trash talking you and um, people are making fun of you when they're not you're just feeling paranoid you think you're the center of attention is that it blueberry intelligent blueberry where if someone laughs over there you think there some conversation was had about you and they're laughing about you yes exactly that intelligent blueberry you're not the only one right so the question is why do you feel that way i've sometimes felt that way sometimes i still do feel that way right sometimes i get that sensation i'm like oh what a dingling i am right because as soon as i feel that and i rarely feel it now but i have felt it in the past i have to remind myself i'm not the center of the universe and according to robert anton wilson if i was the universe doesn't give a rat's ass about me right so what you have to realize is odd oh, make how are you doing happy 420 army odd make what you have to realize is everything that occurs around you is not about you maybe you're just an observer right it doesn't mean don't pay attention have a good proximity but it also means that you're you're too getting yourself too involved in everybody else your whole surrounding which is okay to do if you want to participate in things but don't take it from a negative light always take it from a positive light right always take it from a positive light really there's that old wise tale that if you sneeze suddenly that means someone somewhere is talking about you yeah there's another one that says if you break something in the kitchen you're gonna get a visitor soon <laughs> I don't know where it comes from <laughs> just ingested 0.5 uh, grams of uh, cubenzies well uh, I can't partake in cannabis but I'm gonna enjoy my evening in a similar way and maybe learn something new awesome people don't give a shit about you after two minutes off true true half a gram half a gram yeah 0.5 grams is how do you stop caring what others think i feel like i definitely take actions and other ex expectations like friends and circles i don't think it's necessarily stop caring what other thing others think about you what it is is give priority to the way you perceive yourself first right do you believe you're a good person do you believe you're a kind person do you believe you're a special person will you be kind to the people around you do you believe you would like to have a friend like you right are you doing the best you can with what you know and what you have once you once you can answer yes to those questions that yeah you're trying your best you're doing your best you've made mistakes in the past but you're making amends and you're moving forward and stuff then what matters if someone else doesn't think highly of you if they don't think highly of you and you do that means probably they really don't know you very well right now if you care you can with your actions you can get them to understand you better get to know you better but if there are people just passing by that maybe you're wearing something and they laugh at you go ha 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 what matters does it matter I, I know it's hard to say I'm pretty sure when I was younger I cared uh, right I must have right but I care less and less about that now I do try to put on a good uh, you know make sure that people don't think ill of me right but I have no problems if people don't like me they don't like me okay everybody doesn't have to like me I don't have a hundred percent success rate neither do you neither does anybody right so forget about what other people think like I don't know how to say it otherwise you have to you have to just be happy with who you are and where you're going sleepaways 
how do you stop caring what oh okay i read that uh, chat sort of kicks me all over the place da, da, da. Atmic. Atmic. Da, 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 da. oh you posted nothing something i would like what would you like Atmic? i scrolled all the way down gang because I went off a little bit I'm not sure the origin of this paranoia but it started when I began smoking in Canada when I smoked in Aruba I didn't feel that paranoia. Uh, one of the reasons is because again maybe you should be paranoid because the people in Canada have a different perspective possibly than people in Aruba right so it's just different people and anywhere you go to uh, there's a saying uh, if I can remember the it's a, it's a hip-hop lyrics I think it's from Big Al uh, basically is it Big Al or most stuff I can't remember but or it could be NWA I, I, I can't remember but it basically I'm gonna paraphrase says don't flaunt uh, what you have when you go to new places because you don't know what those people are like right so slowly blend in and get to know the culture before uh, you partake in anything or state your opinion about stuff because it might you get you in trouble j man how are you doing happy 420 i'm not sure dude da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ha, ha. thank you lilith how are you doing oh i'm sorry i sent it too soon what did you send Admic? cool yo might knock and by the way odd is the one oh no that's duber ganger odd is the one that pointed out earlier this month when we doing a math stream she goes this is super 420 i go what 420 happy 420 and i was like what 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 and then i realized it was april 2020 so this 2020 is 4 20 2020 i guess <laughs> your mind is working at its best when you're being paranoid you explore every avenue on possibly possibility of your situation in high speed with total clarity uh, sc sc s socrates no i can't be socrates who said that martin and i agree to a certain degree sc copy sc copy Banksy Banksy really oh, awesome fundamentally we are the same uh, in in out in our abilities and complexities we are different but again more or less the same most people are good people quote don't concern yourself with other uh, what other other people do they they do they people do they do don't concern yourself with what other people know yeah stone c martin being of existence i disagree don't confuse paranoia with enlightenment um I, I think it's a safety mechanism to a certain degree paranoia look for example one one example i have regarding car accidents right or accidents like i'm pretty sure a lot of you have been in accidents before right some kind of accident if you've been in some kind of accident if it's not cars different types of accidents have you been in a situation where time slowed down like the accident went in slow motion like you could see everything happening right one of my um, interpretations of that that why time slows down is because time is directly linked to information so when you're in a tight spot where you're involved in an accident if something traumatic is going to happen that your life is on the line you're trying to process as much information about your surroundings as possible so there's information overload and that might affect the way you perceive time right hence a one second car accident or two second car accident you could maybe remember every little detail about it some people blank it out right maybe you can remember all the little details i mean i've been in accidents where i remember all the little details right that's all the information you process but it felt like a lifetime but it only took two seconds right and that's the same way some people experience certain entheogens Atmic. 
something I've always enjoyed about 420 is not just drugs and getting high, but it almost seems to be a celebration of uh, opening your mind as catharsis for the soul. Oh, I'd make I 100% agree with you because 420 is not necessarily about cannabis, it's about freedom, right? I associate 420 on the same level that I associate pride celebrations around the world, right? I've I have friends that are uh, whatever you want to say I, I don't even know what the right terminology is anymore right I have gay friends I have lesbian friends that I've partied with that I've gone out on pride and the sensation I get from pride celebrations is the sense and same sensation I get from 420 which is about freedom which is about expression which is about living your life the way you want to live it without being judged right so I agree with Otmik 100% and I in my opinion any type of celebration that celebrates the diversity really of humanity is an amazing celebration to incorporate into your life something I would like was a mistype because my cat stepped on my laptop <laughs> so how do you deal with anxiety uh, it's like a wall you need to break it uh, anxiety Frank Castle not Frank Castle uh, basically it's a certain type of fear and fear is the mind killer right and if you want to free yourself one of the best things to do is to confront your fears so for me I just confront confronted them like really that's the way I dealt with it if I found something scared me uh, maybe I stepped away at that moment but I would go back to it go back to it go back to it try to understand why this thing induced the state of fear in me and I've done that so often that it's liberating really it's liberating I almost fell off a cliff one time and it felt like time froze just before I caught my footing truly truly strange truly truly strange right what language uh, always be making da -da -da. Martin hyper awareness hmm. LGBTQ should we say LGBTQ LGBTQ okay they're queer queer gay lesbian I don't know right I call them friends <laughs> like I call them by their names <laughs> right Chicho, can you pull up the image of the one person enjoying a, a good stick pull up the image oh should we take a little five o'clock break five minute five o'clock break fear forget everything and run or face everything and rise sometimes you do need to run right the saying that says um, run to fight another day uh, is legit is legit right I set mine to three that means it's charging I can take it to four kick it down to three should we look at some uh, beautiful art I should have loaded on two different images I have that I love what are some of your favorite youtubers my favorite youtubers I listen to uh, there's a couple of sci-fi uh, movie science fiction uh, channels that I belong to I get their notifications uh, omelet and dust uh, but it's seldom that I watch anything on there the only thing I watch fear uh, French Eagles are rare <laughs> French Eagles are rare uh, but what I use YouTube for is lectures um, panel discussions uh, I use it for politics and economics and because they've been censoring a lot of stuff a lot of let's say half of the politics and economics I watch now I watch them on uh, BitChute because uh, two or three main channels that I watch almost all their content even though I don't agree with them all but not by a long shot 
uh, are also loading on BitChute. So I watch them on BitChute, not YouTube. So I mainly watch lectures, discussions, uh, politics, economics, um, sometimes animation. No, oh, let's put up the picture. Let's put up a picture. I'll read the chat. I'll always be making. If I can recommend someone, Buell Miles is wonderful. I posted in Discord in the health folder about a documentary he made about running experiment. Uh, Exper experientially experientially and and with purpose wonderful experiment experimentally did you already tell the i haven't told her should i tell you guys a cornfield story right now oh uh, you need to see there's got to be hand motion in that do you want to hear a cornfield story while you look at a picture or should we just read chat chat and then I'll tell you the cornfield story we need the hand motion you need the hand motion these are fun give me more words to make acronyms for <laughs> oh you like the code afterwards afterwards one of the words that I love the most is uh, polymath it's something that I recently discovered in the last like five years. Do you, Chicho, do you agree with McKenna's stoned ape theory where psychedelic mushrooms and cannabis contributed to our brain evolution? There's no doubt about it. What we consumed as food contributed to the evolution of humanity. If we, if we never consumed meat, then we would be different types of creatures than we are now if we only consume meat we would be different type of creatures than we are now so for sure what we consume contributes to our evolution there's no doubt about it and psilocybin psychedelic mushrooms fungi and herbs cannabis entheogens have been a part of human diet for millennia since the beginning of humanity beginning of life really on this planet so for sure it's contributed to our evolution there's no doubt about it martin well i certainly disagree that paranoia leads to hyper awareness and challenge that that i think it could always be making in fact is good or victorious that in fact is good or victorious i think paranoia can can go any way There is there is a reason why we have certain emotions. I think there, a lot of them could be defense mechanisms. By the way, next Saturday we're doing a DJ set. I think we got three DJs lined up. We're gonna start off on our Twitch channel, okay, where my partner is gonna play a set for us, most likely a two-hour set, and then we're gonna move uh raid someone else's twitch channel where we're gonna listen to them uh, play a dj set and so on and so forth dude is the guy in the painting one of the djs no no actually one of the djs i don't know i've never seen him polymath pretty olympians leap yards miles and throw hard <laughs> actually that what do you call it sort of uh, agrees with the theme of what polymath means i still disagree with the language there's probably a german word that makes more sense oh different languages pretty sure always be making they have certain words that are way better uh, than english and vice versa do you believe in karma what goes around comes around to a certain degree frank castle for sure but as a friend as a friend has said before good things happen to bad people right good things happen to bad people that's life 
I feel like I'm extremely impatient in learning new skill sets. Always be making says. Da -da -da -da. I lost the chat. Chicho, who made this art? Uh, it's an artist in Ontario. Best stoner movie. Oh, you won't like my stoner movies. Some of them. They're fun. There are some fun movies. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, time machine. Uh, hot top time machine is hilarious. So funny. Uh, Samurai Champloo, Cowboy Bebop, uh, Space Dandy for sure. The movie, the war movie, Come and See is amazing. Oh, There Will Be Blood is amazing. Right? Blade Runner, Moulin Rouge. Are they sperm cells top right squadron? Are they? Or are they galaxies? Or are they both, Gina? Are they both, Gina? I think it's less about ba ba ba. Odd Mick, when I woke up today, my goal wasn't to smoke, but try and do some really good math. I'm not sure if I necessarily accomplished that but i think it's spiritual that doing math is some somewhat to me at least is a form of uh, worship that all learning and discovery is a service to some vague notion of what it means to be human the only way that the universe can understand itself is through sentient minds i like to think that psychedelics are wonderful because they expose us to this reality so says Odmic 146. Karma. Karen asked really mean, <laughs> meanly for assistance. Coolio's little thing is greetings, Chicho. The fan lot. Greetings, greetings. I have an earbud in and my phone uh, in my pocket listening to the stream while I work. Glad to be here. Happy 420. Happy 420. Thank you for tuning in. He should be, he should have been in the group of seven. I don't know who that is. Spider Man, am I teaching my students tomorrow? Yep, for sure. Yeah, but the two two o'clock spot is still open. And by the way, gang, Spider Man is doing a stream tomorrow, comic book stream. So if you want to follow, uh, have a comic book stream. Uh, we're gonna be there a uh, bunch of us and I'm gonna try my hardest to be there for sure too it's a comic book stream uh, so tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, PDT my time hot top time machine was so freaking funny the sequel was okay but the first is but the so funny intelligent blueberry underrated comedy Lock, stock, and two, uh, two smoking barrels was funny too. The group of seven is an icon group of artists from Ontario. Oh, is it? Okay. I'm not sure if that's per odd make. I'm not sure if that's particularly meaningful. But all my math friends have a pretty straight lace. Are pretty straight lace. I agree with odd make. That's one thing that um, I wish the math community explored more, which is uh the entheogens and i think uh, a lot of scientists have for sure for sure thank you you're so no my pleasure spider-man no for sure 3 p.m mountain time spider-man's uh twitch channel tomorrow yeah tomorrow spider-man what's your twitch uh, can you post your twitch channel in the chat so people can click on it and uh, sub do they need the URL or they can they click on your uh, just name and sub well if anyone cares I'm streaming too and always be making streaming as well he's doing a lot of uh, making things always be making uh you should post your uh, url as well teaching different things and 
mathematics and physics and stuff so this art yeah it does I'm getting sunshine glare on the screen <laughs> Chicho cool human yearning to create helpful OC online content nice online content that is unless she chose an alien Funny. we do educational philosophy every day for a little bit nice gang I'm gonna bring down the picture let's bring down the picture let's try to get caught up with chat or read the chat there's the Sun is seriously shining on uh, on the screen da, 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 da. And Oof, bright bright eh? I wonder if if should we try to block the sun a little bit support each other form a web support each other chicho chicho sold originated from cyrus and <laughs> is incarcerated into the body to help out <laughs> that's just also not, that's funny it's not bad that's a badass shirt Thanks, thank you. My nephew made it. Take a look. When he was in high school. It's nice, his artwork is nice. Here, let me find you his website. I'll send you to his website. This is his inst Instagram. The sun looks great. Okay, we keep. Wow, that's dope. You have a talented, talented nephew. He made it in high school, right? Happy Stoner New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change my screen. Oof! This is gonna be dangerous, gang. I'll fix it up, okay. Dangerous, dangerous. No, oh, that didn't help very much. Oof, bright. Bright. A little bit better that way I can read the thing the chat <laughs> a monster all stone so the sword will the sword will be blunt if any trolls come on it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt no pun intended if I was in a band Martin said I would be the drummer heard but never really seen nice Martin 
that's what I was too and that's the best thing to be I'm gonna pour myself another drink I brought some extra ice and we need some uh, pineapple liqueur and you know what we should munch on a cucumber what's your snacks gang cucumbers radish right and like organic like i don't know if they're local these ones uh radishes are local local farm we bought it from they got some mandarins and crackers we'll have a cucumber what you guys munching on cucumbers with salt on them I'm just a garage band in high school how's that looking with the sun shining through it pineapple liqueur it's not a liqueur video but we do dangerous um, when did we make the pineapples again we made the video where we made the pineapple so it'd be at least a year more than a year i think year and a half or so and you can eat them as well right it drips so i'm not gonna bring it too close and the 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 pineapple when you eat them is really strong very strong very strong always be making here's a heavy question uh, can we ethically consume pineapple if it's stolen from war-torn countries in Central America I have expensive uh, expensive taste and like expensive things but I'm more interested in buying child lost the child buying locally but i can't get pineapple or mango locally i can't either so i like to think and for me uh i have the luxury to allow myself to be able to think this way uh that it was acquired ethically because i do my best to make sure it was i can't remember where i got these ones from right but it's a slow mo we can't change everything in one shot right like change like who we are and the way we behave in this world didn't come about overnight it was a progression of multiple years right so for us to be in the state that we're perfect which will never happen it has to be a transition as well right so i used to beat myself over the head as well when uh, when I used to say oh I can't do this because it's this 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 but I do the other one so there was this dilemma and then I realized okay the way I can resolve this is not to be in conflict every time I make a decision but overall my general decision has to be constantly improving to reflect what I want to see in society right so it's it's a progression it's not instantaneous okay for me anyway sleepy waves do you not put the pineapple inside the drink i think uh, i've been drinking wine wrong then uh you yours no you can do it as well for sure you can put the pineapple in the drink i just chose to eat it this is gonna make sure it doesn't drip I just chose to eat it you can put it in the drink for sure but when you put it in the drink when you fin 
you know, when you're drinking your drink, nibble at it. Like, it's edible. You can eat it. Don't throw it away. Like, potent. If you don't like the strong flavor of the fruit, don't, don't eat it. It's really strong. Like, the liqueur is like candy. The fruit is very alcohol flavored, right? As you probably know, right? See which, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you very much. Going to try, um, uh, going to try a mode for a bit, okay, Martin. Do what you need to do, Chief Chicho. Triple dog there, you to make onion liquor and drink some on stream. I don't know what it would taste like, it might taste good. We could make a little one, maybe. What would garlic liqueur taste like? I've had garlic ice cream, I didn't like it. I think it always comes down to the fact that there is no true ethical consumption of anything under capitalism. It's all exploitation. Like the local farms I consume from, I don't consider that exploitation. So onion liqueur is a is a real thing. People drink it and really always be making cool. Yeah, maybe we do next time. I'll try to look into it. So if I don't drink the fruit, uh, don't drink the fruit as often should i then pour more vodka inside the mason jar so the exposed fruit doesn't rot uh, the exposed fruit won't rot you can leave it like that within reason of course right you don't want to let it completely dry in general i have before and i pour vodka on top and i can still eat it so the fruit is alcohol soaked so it's not going to rot um, but during the liqueur streams you must have seen I top off my liqueurs for sure like this thing when we finish more right like that the liquid to is about to here right when I finish it when I bring it down to about here probably two more drinks I'm gonna pour more vodka and fill it to the top again and do an iteration of it oops if I think the alcohol is sweet enough I won't add sugar if I want to kick up the sweetness, I'll add a little bit of sugar as well. So it's a, it's a, when you make a jar, you can refill it. You can do at least, at least three iterations, minimum three iterations, if you have enough fruit in there, of course, right? So don't uh, throw the stuff away, right? For sure. Potatoes make vodka, so you could, uh, make potato liqueur I wonder what that would taste like maybe good maybe good maybe good salute gang okay I hope you're having a fantastic fantastic 420 and if you have the luxury to sit back and watch this world unfold before you I hope you're enjoying the ride if you are caught up in the chaos go slow take your time be careful okay highly recommend infusing habanero and ghost peppers and vodka if you like spicy foods with six to seven decent habaneros in 750 mil is enough to kick you in the face lord cutley is that you the sun is shining on the chat so i'm having a, you know harder time reading the chat <laughs> nice a nice kick in the ass everybody needs it or kick the kick in the ass kick in the face would be too hard oof make a potato liqueur and a ketchup oh liqueur then you can mix them to make a french fries and ketchup shot yikes I challenge that, but maybe this isn't the forum for that. Huckleberry, Huckleberry. What did Huckleberry say? I don't know what Huckleberry said. Local farms, I suppose, would be an exception, as uh, would self employed people for sure, because they compensate themselves for the value that they create, as opposed to field workers. Yeah, agreed. Being underpaid for the worth of the uh, fruits they harvest regardless of where they harvest happens yeah for sure for that with that huckleberry i would agree right like for us we're lucky we have enough local farms uh near near us where we buy a lot of fruits and vegetables locally lucky right that's all i can say um 
like we belong to a CSA we signed up for a CSA this year as well where every week we're gonna get fresh vegetables and fruit if they have it uh, where we can go pick it up once a week from an organic farm so there are things you can do that are capitalist based that aren't exploitation like what I do is capitalist based I teach but I teach privately I don't exploit my students or my clients a lot of people have said I could charge a lot more and I can uh, but I keep it within reason so I'm across the board it's, it's not you know it's not only rich people that can afford me it's like huge sector of the population that can afford me right so but what I do is capitalism uh, in large part I sell my services for currency for something exchanging it for something else right i am not and i am not opposed to doing it and i have done this in the past where i do it as an exchange of other services or other goods right if i was able to grow my own mango i would but texas i don't think is in the right climate zone it's not it's hot enough for mangoes no my csa was 80 percent potatoes oh was it dragons 80% potatoes change your CSA is there another CSA around you like we actually changed our CSA this year last year not last year but for four years we were with this specific CSA but last year we started getting kale in our salad the salad greens and we didn't want to eat raw kale we want to cook the kale and some of it was really hardy older leaves so we we're finding that we're going through the green salad greens to remove the kale so we changed our csa this year we're getting uh, our vegetables uh, some fruits uh, and eggs eggs comes with it uh, from a different csa this year just planted some peas and lettuce also have beans cucumbers and carrots nice few more months till our oh awesome awesome ding bobber awesome we still haven't got around to it we're we need to do it uh, it's just we don't want to go out too much right jealous i love potatoes ah you're like 80 percent potatoes awesome no such thing as too much potatoes lilith lilith of senna <laughs> also very true i'm speaking less in the way that people sell things and more in the way that owners of capital treat their workers not all owners all we, who who is this huckleberry um we have we can't generalize owners of capital there are people who treat their their employees uh their their client they treat people well man i know someone that owns a company okay in vancouver that has 300 plus employees and at a house house gathering like two years ago we were talking and he's trying to retire right and he just couldn't find the right person to sell to and he was we talked two years ago and he was trying to do this for five years and he turned to me and said chicho listen i have 300 people working under me and they have families so multiply 300 by three let's say at least so that's 900 people that will be affected by his decision and he was losing sleep right for five years he was trying to find someone to sell his company to and he couldn't he just couldn't do it he hadn't done it yet he goes I, I i don't have anyone i hope he did i hope he found someone to do it right i haven't talked to him for a couple of years what a nice guy what a nice guy and i've known him for 25 years right i don't see him often right but whenever we cross paths phenomenal guy right he owns capital he owns an industry uh, you know one of the top people in the industry and stuff or one of the main competitors in the industry so I'm really I don't like the generalization of attacking a certain segment of society except for Wall Street and Hollywood all right and everybody in Hollywood is not bad there are good people in Hollywood there there are good people on Wall Street right but those are more specific it's not just capital itself I live in the west coast of Canada, British Columbia. I go between two cities, Victoria and Vancouver. 
not uh, always been making not that so far south mangoes are native to southeast asia around the equator oh wow so not even texas is good enough okay how can i see what i can grow um there's websites that uh in my climate there's websites that provide the rating i think the grading goes seven it's numbered seven one one to seven i think isn't it gang I can't remember when the last time I was looked at this or how they went where certain numbers you can grow more you get more Sun you're closer to the equator it's basically based on the earth right how close you are to the equator and how much Sun you get and how consistent it is what the temperature is like what the humidity is like I got a little roof I would love to plant nice I suppose I probably employed some I imply some hyperboles yeah and I if we're talking one-on-one -on -one, I you know I'm okay with hyperboles uh, hyper uh, going off on tangents right right now it's just there's so much anger and hate going around I rather not participate in that have you ever considered a cottage unless you have one or no I don't have a cottage I don't like I'm not a multi house owner or, or a house owner or an apartment owner or anything like this what you see is what you get right uh, have I considered the only way I would move to an urban area is if I had high-speed internet I need the high-speed internet right uh, aside from that I'm not uh, I would do we mentioned that uh, what is that I can't read the name Zadar fun how are you guys doing are you enjoying are you lucky enough to be enjoying our lives right now right do you have some liqueur going on I'm getting reflection galore. Mm, look at this. Radish. Super cool. It looks like those candies you could get at the grocery store that were like really sweet and uh, spicy. delicious the mushrooms are starting to kick in I feel peaceful with the increased sense of awareness on my surroundings <laughs> nice do you have the yawns yet oh nice I moved the screen back it's not glaring off the screen anymore I can read the chat Oof. if the lice is hindering oops where do we go if the light is hindering your vision feel free to close the blinds I the kicker is I don't have the blinds here and these ones don't close this is it it's not a folder that's just what they are they're really old we've had these blinds for th 30 years But thank you for the suggestion, Coolio. I'm good now. I'm good now. Hey, Chicho. Been a while since I made it. Super nice. How you doing? I made it to a stream, but hope you're doing well. Doing well. Thank you very much. And welcome to our 420 stream. All right. Live trip report. Live trip report, Coolio says. <laughs> to Ding, Ding Bubber. I've never had a radish and slightly afraid of oh it's so good oh my god it's so good phenomenal once you eliminate most of the processed sugar in your diet you will find 
that there are flavors that you have never experienced before in your life initially you might be woof what was that and then later on you're like oh what was that right very good spicy and a little bit of mandarin My parents had a garden when I was growing up, and they once grew the biggest radish I ever seen. It was delicious, but it was big enough for me and my sister to split. Nice. Good parents. Michael Dula. Absolutely. I give up all soda pop around 2017, and my taste buds have changed immensely since then. Yeah. Highly recommend. You want to improve your life? Give up processed sugar. Stop drinking pop, period. Right? Tilt down the camera. Tilt down the camera or tilt up? Crazy flare. Flare, bro. <laughs> All right. Now I'm getting the sun. Are you guys getting the sun? Tilt up, tilt down. Oh, you guys are getting the sun. All right. Now we're getting the sun. Are you guys getting the sun? How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Let's check it out. Mm, let me try this out. Hold on a second. Let me try this out. Okay. Is that better? That must be better. How do I lock this? Is it better? Let's see. Those are nice windows. Chicho is uh, a <laughs> Is that okay? I don't think you guys have ever seen the background here. Let me see. That's coming down. That must be good like that. There. Is that better? The sunlight is skipping off your beard. <laughs> you sit down, I think. <laughs> sit down again. Oh, fun. Dark. It's shining off his bald head. No offense, no offense taken. I'm good, I'm good with it. You can fix it unless you diffuse the light coming from the outside. So you need a curtain or something that, yeah, I know we don't have, we don't diffuse it from here, right? I need to be right here. You know what? I need to put this. That's what you guys need. You might have to turn us to the right a bit oh maybe it's the sun that's shining on you guys right now so let's see oh i could do this hold on a second let's see let's see mm, i can fix that for you hold on a second hold on a second let's do a little, little maintenance your channel you channel your <laughs> death metal <laughs> let's do this Oh, it needs to be way up there. Oh my. Oh my. Let's see. It is doable. Let's see. Let's see. That's where we want it. Painter's tape. Did 
That should do it. Nice, nice. Let's confirm. Nice, that should do it. It's nice and toasty in here, by the way, gang. Crazy toasty. Salute, salute. Perfect. <laughs> Can I become a bowl of SpaghettiOs? Please tell me I need answers. <laughs> if you want, it's fine. We will be okay in about five minutes when the sun goes behind that house. Yeah, but right now it's good too. It worked out, yeah. Yeah, and it's sort of better for me. Ooh, I can actually see the screen and read the text. Is it 420 again? Is it 420 time? Should we look at some uh, look at some artwork? I think next year I'm gonna bring out uh, three different types of art to show you guys because we'll do at least three breaks right Chicho feeling, Chicho feeling creative <laughs> when you have paper and uh, either duct tape or painters tape you could do anything you want you could create grids on the wall and do mathematics you can fix cars you can make sure the sun is uh, not disturbing. Loving the new lighting. Yeah, it looks good. Good stuff, good stuff. We need to do another round of fixing up the house uh, this spring. And I think we're gonna do in the next little bit. Right? You become guy for the sun. Nice. What kind of paper? are we talking about spring cleaning stream spring cleaning oh i don't know when i go crazy on the on the cleaning i go crazy i'm all over the place right it's good but we're definitely going to go on the patio and do a barbecue i'm craving hamburgers i wonder why should we look at some pictures or a picture 420 five minute picture break while we read the chat It is an absolutely beautiful picture though. Titan Destroyer 07. Let's look at a picture. <laughs> Should be Chichonian code. Let's go look at some pictures. How many planets we got we got the earth we got the sun we got the moon and we got five planets that are large we got a one little one on the top left corner wish i was looking at a picture <laughs> Fun.
<laughs> nice smoke i want to channel my inner essence and become a cat with responsible owners the only downside would be my fun bits chopped off wow they don't have to be look on the bright side you might get a lot of catnip there must be a special day for catnips 420 is for cannabis Let's keep it chill like Chicho. Salute everyone. Salute. That's fantastic, Coolio. Catnip day is nine nine since cats have nine lives. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September 9th. agreed agreed bad joke time you ever hear of the psychic midget who escaped from prison he was a small medium at large it was a small man ah <laughs> bad jokes what are some profound lyrics here's one from triple six mafia Ratatata goes the tech nine something along those lines anyway i inspired to be a to be as relaxed as chicho often is i have been watching him for years and i have yet to see him appear even mildly frustrated sometimes i think so but thank you profound lyrics you don't have to go home but you can't stay here closing time by sin semi-sonic some way to some place somehow sometime nice says that was my joke answer my real answer is in piano man by billy joel the line goes they're shaking a drink they call loneliness but it's better than drinking alone oh dude that song is fantastic coolio fantastic song i used to listen to billy joel a lot piano man can you tell tell me what's what I'm running from dingle bubber could you tell me what I'm running towards can you tell me why whenever I'm up front there is a locked door quote who said this can you tell me what I'm running from can you tell me what I'm running towards? Can you tell me why whenever I'm up front, there's a locked door? Dem Atlas. Cool.
any idiot can face a crisis is day-to-day -day living that wears you out nice nice lyrics who was on that one dragons and one day we will die and our ashes will fly from the arrow aeroplane over the sea neutral milk hotel wow you have to understand that one I have yet to understand that one let's read that again Huckleberry quote and one day we will die and our ashes will fly from the arrow aeroplane over the sea from the aeroplane over the sea I have a Bob Dylan poster on my wall that has a quote by him though I think it was an interview quote and not a song lyrics quote I accept chaos I'm not sure whether it accepts me haha <laughs> awesome oh my god I love the album uh, I know all the words to that song from neutral milk hotel I've never I don't think I've ever listened to neutral milk hotel I have to check it out if you guys remember go to our discord and post uh, like one of their songs on there so we can check it out cash rules everything around me Woo, dang nice oh man what are some of the hip-hop lyrics I know it's a beautiful piece of art oh but Gangnam Style hilarious we should get Chicho into death grips while we're at it and he'll fit right in death grips I don't know death grips either death grips picture down gang cream for the cats let's put this guy here <coughs> picture coming down gang it goes it goes it goes it goes it goes it goes Glutinia, <laughs> who's that thing, Bobber? <laughs> Hello, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm back. Uh, I just was uh, doing a test stream. Awesome, Spider Man. Did it work out? I hope so. In the airplane over the sea is also the name of the song and the album. It's worth checking out. Oh, airplane over the sea is the uh, name of the. Uh, is also the name of the song okay cool chicho i'm loving this uh liquor liquor which uh which one death grips banana banana <laughs> terracotta banana 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 terracotta banana banana terracotta pie <laughs> awesome <laughs> nice for some reason for sips of down music man you need the beats to be able to get you through it right responsible responsibility is cool but there's other things in life death grips cool i cool it was like i respect your taste sir i know madam i know madam I performed that I performed that live playing bass in a band in a bar awesome is that a perfect way of holding you baby who's that from vicinity of obscurity in your eyes ah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who the hell are you calling crazy you won't know what crazy was if Charles and Man Charles Manson was eating Fruit Loops, I <laughs> front porch suicidal tendencies. <laughs> so, tachyon, triple six five fork tongue. Fun lyrics, powerful, powerful. Oh, I need beats to get me going on the lyrics. Suitability. Uh, suitable vibes here was getting drunk and was thinking that's uh, it's easier to be the bad guy 
but I like to work on being the good guy. Yeah, being the bad guy is it, being a good guy is hard, man. Like, like what is better, ruling in hell or serving in heaven? Good inspiration here, or on seeing the positive side more. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Booker, and thank you, everyone on chat. Mm -hmm. Right, and I don't think it's the choice between personally between ruling in hell or serving in heaven. I think it's a spectrum of brilliance personally that you can make it be whatever you want it to be All right just be aware of it love is not some victory marked it's a cold and uh, and it's a broken hallelujah love is not some victory mark it's a cold and, and it's it's cold and it's a broken hallelujah you want some lyrics I got some lyrics ready 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 I hope Catholic traditionalist is here ready El Shaddai El Shaddai Adayona Adolai age to age you're still the same by the power of the name El Shaddai El Shaddai Adayona Adolai Who is that? I dare you. Who is that? Let's check this out. When the shit keeps piling up, get a shovel, expire. Quote. And the three men I admire most, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, they caught the last train for the coast the day the music died. American Pie. Someone clipped that immediately. <laughs> AG is right. Do you guys know who AG is? Martin knows who it is. Hey, my friend, hope you're good. Doing good, Green Tech. Doing good. And I saw AG in concert. AG Amy Grant <laughs> awesome fun lyrics lyrics are magic right quote bring oh, where to go bring tea for the till tillerman steak for the sun wine uh, for the women who made the rain come seagulls sing their hearts away and while the sinners sin the children play oh lord how they play and play for that happy day for that happy day oh dude that is fantastic lyrics who is that ding bobber that's so eight cat stevens cat stevens rocks man cat stevens awesome cat stevens phenomenal man I'm gonna, yeah, very nice. <laughs> Clips. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Fun. Cat Stevens, I really like. Cat Stevens, fantastic. Cat Stevens, fantastic. We're coming on to two hours, gang. We're gonna call it the 420 stream. What a fantastic stream. What a fantastic stream. Thanks for being here, gang. Really. fantastic fun times I hope you guys are having a fantastic fantastic day I hope you have a fantastic week Chicho no we have to stream for four hours and 20 minutes on 420 I didn't plan on it <laughs> awesome well I got my stuff I got my stuff I can't do it I can't do four hours and 20 minutes I need to pace myself better next time always a pleasure to a lonely piggy fantastic i'm glad you're sticking around brother i'm gonna go play and sing that cat stevens song not nice i broke her and the crew is giving me the right tune before sleep raises drink and bows in respect salute salute oh my pleasure Lila. thank you for being here all good it's time for me to chill and vibe to some music awesome everyone awesome everyone uh, 
and just for those who are watching this right now who've never been here and for those who are watching this after the live stream either on youtube bitchute or somewhere else this was a lovely huckleberry it was indeed gang thank you very much by the way we should do uh powerful lyrics or lyrics stream one of these days i am on patreon that's where i'm active at if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic place to support this work okay you can also just follow i don't put anything behind the paywall so you'll get notifications when we're loading on videos or sharing any additional content okay we are live streaming this on twitch so the conversation you just heard everyone chatting it was taking place on twitch so if you want to see these things live participate twitch is where you want to be at we do announce these live streams on twitter gabs mine vk and elo that's the platforms i have for announcing what we're doing okay and i do post our schedule for the live streams on patreon okay we are uploading to these videos to youtube and bitshoot and we do have youtube channel membership and if you want to support this work youtube channel membership is a fantastic way to support this work as well as subscribing following on twitch and patreon okay and we are in times of pandemic irrelevant of what you think it is there's something going on and from what we hear from the healthcare industry from healthcare workers those people on the front lines they're telling us to stay home they're part of our community take their advice stay home irrelevant of people telling you not to that do not have a skin in the game okay aside from that gang thank you very much for the lyrics if you're sharing music go to our discord post it in our music folder so everybody can have a sample x good evening good morning good afternoon okay mods thank you for taking care of business martin like king strikes again <laughs> you're awesome coolio spider-man everybody nicholas thank you very much for being here always be making okay and i'll see you guys uh, most likely thursday friday for math and saturday for the dj set i'll announce the times tomorrow most likely bye everyone